Good evening and welcome to Thursday Evening Prayer. And it's good to welcome so many of you to this time of celebration. And we begin by lighting this light for the many who have asked for prayer tonight, especially for one of our dear friends on Twitter, Caroline Burt, who just emailed me to say, please continue to pray for us. And also for our dear sister Gonzalo, excuse me, Sister Corazon de los Santos in Winnipeg, who is in need of real prayer tonight. And not forgetting our dear sister ja Jackie in Idaho and Sister Jan G Jane, sorry, in uh, Coventry, and all the members of our family, our spiritual family, the Franciscan community, and also for all our friends on social media, not forgetting our dear brother Skip. Amen. Forgive me for that. And now we begin our evening prayer. We begin with our prologue of our brother and sister Essenes of Mount Sinai, as we say together, we enter the eternal and infinite garden with reverence to the heavenly Father, Mother God, the earthly mother and all the great masters and reverence to the holy pure and saving teaching and reverence to the brotherhood and sisterhood of the elect. Thursday evening we commune with the angel of wisdom saying, the angel of wisdom descend upon my thinking body and enlighten all my thoughts. Superior currents of thought are then sent and attracted by the thinking body while the individual contemplates all thoughts on earth and in the cosmic ocean of thought. And now, let us just be still for a moment as we collect our thoughts and come into the presence of God, the God of many names, who has many children in many different faiths. And first, our opening prayer. And it's from the favourite book of prayers chosen by people from all walks of life. And our prayer this evening is from Christopher Gibbs, who's an art dealer. O Lord Jesus, pray in us, dwell in us, and we in thee. Unite us with thyself so that our prayers may become thy prayers, and thy prayers our prayers. Make us to love thee for thine own sake, and not for what we hope from thee. Teach us to love as thou lovest. Amen. A lovely prayer. And now we have our first read, proper reading, and it's from Psalms Now by Leslie Brandt. And it's Psalm 113. How great and glorious is our God, from hour to hour, from day to day, our lives ought to overflow, to overflow with praise and gratitude. It is amazing, even fantastic, how our God permeates every facet of our lives and can work out his purposes through them, despite our human faults and our failings. He creates beauty out of the dust of our fallen natures, out of the ashes of our failures, he brings forth meaning and purpose. He exalts the humble and enriches the poor. He transforms our weaknesses into channels of strength. Our emptiness becomes a vessel of his fullness, a vessel, sorry, our spiritual poverty, the basis for his eternal grace. Our errors and mistakes are stepping stones to success. Our defeats are but incidents on the road to victory. But this is God's doing, not ours. How great and glorious is our God. And I endorse that. And now for this tiny little book I'll show you. The Little Book of Wisdom from His Holiness, the Dalai Lama. I'm going to open it at random and just be guided by Holy Spirit. 
the path to self-destruction. If we live our lives continually motivated by anger and hatred, even our physical health deteriorates. And the next reflection, violence is self-perpetuating. If you succeed through violence at the expense of others' rights and welfare, you have not solved the problem, but only created the seeds for another. Wise words. And now we have another reading from Jesus Now by Leslie Brandt. This is lovely. It's the theme is living or dying, and it guides us to the Christian Gospel of Saint John, chapter eight, verse thirty-six. So, if the Son of Man makes you free, you will be free indeed. Many of God's creatures don't know what life is all about. They laugh and dance, indulge and spend, and find some satisfaction in pursuing thrill, excitement, danger, popular acclaim and maternal security. They follow their selfish instincts or yield to their craven desires. They convince themselves that this is living, when it is really the process of dying. They are unsuspecting victims of bondage, enslaved by their own self-centered concepts and convictions. Jesus has come to set men and women free from this bondage. He does not rid people of their instincts or eradicate their natural inclinations so impregnated with self-concern. He can, infilled by the spirit who enabled him, to successfully confront temptation, grant to those who seek it the power to subdue their selfish desires and passions, and he can bless them with the kind of joy that will make their lives whole and abundant. Those who continue to seek for purpose and meaning along other corridors of this temporal existence may ultimately find the door to eternal joy an abundance closed shut. They remain blind to the truth, deaf to the word of God's love, numb to the movings of his spirit in and about them. Their good works and fine intentions avail them nothing. They have not sought for God. They have never found him. Oh, wow. Living or dying beautiful words. And now we come to some prayers. Prayers for those we love who may be hurting, disgruntled, may be deeply unhappy or suffering. And here we go. This is from the Baha'i Faith. O thou kind Lord, these lovely children are the handiwork of the fingers of thy might and the wondrous signs of thy greatness. O God, protect these children, graciously assist them to be educated and enable them to render service to the world of humanity. O God, these children are pearls, cause them to be nurtured within the shell of thy loving kindness. Thou art the bountiful, the all-loving, from the Baha'i faith. And from Christianity we read, Lord, grant us joy of our wives and children, make reverence the garment of our love and hallowing the benediction of our homes. By the surety of the troth we keep, make safe the troths of all. For the joy of our eyes grant us faith in our souls, make us and ours ready for all seasons, gay and brave. Make our loves true and in their truth make our nation glad. Lord, hear our prayer. Our prayer, Lord, hear. Amen. And from the Baha'i faith, prayers for parents. Thou seest, O Lord, our suppliant hands lifted up towards 
the heaven of thy favour and bounty. Grant that they may be filled with the treasuries of thy magnificence and bountiful favours. Forgive us and our fathers and our mothers and fulfil whatsoever we have desired from the ocean of thy grace and divine generosity. Accept, O beloved of our hearts, all our works in thy path. Thou art verily the most powerful, the most exalted, the incomparable, the one, the forgiving, the gracious. Isn't that lovely? And now we come to our evening intercessions where we bring each other into the presence of Christ. So we pray. God is ever creative, his love renews all things and is the source of our hope. Let us turn to God in confidence. We pray, Lord, accept our thanks and prayers this evening. We give thanks for the order of created things. You have blessed us with the resources of the earth and the gift of human life. We pray, Lord, accept our thanks and our prayers this evening. We give thanks for man's share in your continuing work of creation. We praise you for your gifts to him of inventive skill and creative vision. And we pray, Lord, accept our thanks and our prayers this evening. We pray for all the nations of the world. May those in authority work for peace and goodwill among all men and women. We pray, Lord, accept our thanks and our prayers this evening. We pray for all who are homeless tonight. We pray for families searching for a place to live and for refugees driven from their homeland. We pray, Lord, accept our thanks and our prayers. And this evening, we hold our dear sister Caroline and we thank God for giving her the strength and the courage to be still and to trust in God her Saviour. We pray for our dear sister Corazon de los Santos and we pray for her poorly son Daniel, for her brother Faustion and we pray for all the many challenges that our dear sisters had to face and all the losses of loved ones and her younger brothers who were killed by gun crime. We pray this evening for Sister Jackie and Sister Jane, who've been struggling with illness, and pray that soon that will be a thing of the past. We pray for all the brothers and sisters of our community, both past and present, and we give thanks to God for this free channel where we can connect with you across the airwaves and bring you God's word, nourishment and encouragement. We pray this evening for Laura, a dear friend of the community, Reverend Sister Laura, our friend Sam, who will be having surgery next Monday for a large growth at the side of his neck. And we pray for the many who are in hospital, especially one of the nurses from our surgery, she's called Leslie, whom they thought had a bleed in her brain, oh, five weeks ago. And then they thought she'd had a heart attack, but she's had a stroke, a right-sided stroke that's left her with speech problems. And now, poor love, she's out of intensive care, but got a tracheotomy. We pray for dear, dear Leslie, and we pray for the many who were in hospital at this time. We pray for our elderly, especially those who live alone and who may be homesick or hurting or hungry to meet their loved ones who refuse to have anything to do with them, which does happen. And we pray for the emergency services, for those who care out of hours for God's children. We bring all our religious leaders, especially our Holy Father, Pope Francis, head of the Roman Catholic Church. We bring His Holiness, the Dalai Lama, Tichnahan, and we bring also Queen Elizabeth, our reigning monarch and head of the Church of England. 
and we bring tonight all the men and women down through the centuries who've dedicated their lives to God in service for unity and peace within the whole family of God. We pray for the men and women in our community who've chosen to live their hermitic life and those who consecrated their life in vows for interspiritual unity and peace. And we give thanks to God for their offering. But we pray for those who were in vows who've left to go and do other things for God. So we bless them. We bless the many who are hurting at this hour and who are in need of prayer. So let us now bring whatever may be troubling you by naming it, by blessing it and releasing it to God. So let us just spend a moment in quiet prayer. pray this beautiful prayer, the Lord's Prayer. Our God, you are everywhere, infinite and eternal, unknowable, yet we call upon you and give you a sacred name. Your will brings everything into being, the multiverse and all dimensions. It is by your grace that we live. You see us as whole and perfect. We pray that we learn forgiveness so that we can see others as whole and perfect too. Guide us to understand that wealth and power are illusions, and as we dwell in the world of duality, let us discern and eschew evil, for you are beyond duality. You are the only reality forever and ever. Amen. And for our closing prayer, let us go back to the little book of favourite prayers and open at random. It's From If by Rudyard Kipling, 1865 to 1936, but it's given to us by Lord, Lord Rothmere, a newspaper proprietor. If you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you, if you can trust yourself when all men doubt you, if you can trust but make allowances for their doubting too, if you can wait and not be tired by waiting, or being lied about don't deal in lies, or being hated don't give way to hating, and yet don't look too good nor talk too wise. If you can fill the unforgiving minute with 60 seconds worth of distance run. Yours is the earth and everything that's in it, and which is more, you'll be a man, my son. That lovely. So, my dear friends, the Celtic blessing, the blessing of heaven, the blessing of earth, the blessing of sea and sky on those we love this night, and on every human family, the gift of heaven, the gift of earth, the gift of sea and sky, the gifts of brother sun and sister moon, and gifts of the animal kingdom, be in your heart this night and every night you live. Amen. And as I come to blow out this light, we thank the Lord Jesus for touching all gathered here and for answering all our requests and those whom we have prayed for. Amen. So, my dear brothers and sisters, we come to the end of our evening prayer this Thursday evening and we say Namaste, Shalom, Inshallah, Pagset Bonum, Om Shanti, Solo di Carita, Salam Alaikum, and may the peace of our God, your Goddess, reawaken in your heart that you are a child of God and that your life matters to God, and that you are loved. Amen. Till we meet again around this table of love. Good night and God bless you. Keep well and safe.